up you guys the curious owl here and today I am doing the TBR tag or as it's better known as the intimidating TBR tag now because it is getting closer and closer to the end of 2018 and into 2019 I've made the biggest realization that there are so many books that are in my shelves here behind me that I still haven't gotten to and I've known this for a long time but the thing is is that there's so many books that it makes it hard for me to know what to pick. And so a lot of times I have to use my TBR jar that's back there right behind that little squid guy. And I just, it's so difficult. So I tried to go through my TBR first by, um, you know, reading some through that. But then I'm also doing reread series that I want to do because I want to reread some of my favorite books. And I feel like it's always a good thing to reread some of your favorites, especially because a lot of them I haven't read since I was in high school. I just finished doing my Beautiful Creatures reread that I will be posting my final review for. It's just really hard for me to get to a lot of other books because a lot of them are intimidating that I'm a little too scared to get into because I'm, I'm scared of getting invested with the world or getting invested with the story and having to be involved with like another long series or something like that. So let's just get into some of the questions. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to find the original person that did this tag. I, apparently the video that they made is now completely unavailable. So I will leave a link to the person I did use to find the questions for this tag down in the description below for you guys. So the first question is actually, what book have you been unable to finish? Now, there hasn't really been a book that I've come across this year specifically that I just haven't been able to finish because most of the time I've been able to finish books or if I just didn't really see a drive to, I would DNF it. But currently I am having a little bit of struggles with one book in particular that I'm reading and it's mostly because I just didn't expect it to be as linear of a storyline as I thought it would be, if that makes sense. The book I'm talking about is Revival by Stephen King. This is actually a fairly new Stephen King novel. This came out in 2014 and it was my November pick for the month that I didn't get to, so I decided to put it into my December TBR. And the reason it's really hard for me to get through it is, like I said, I didn't expect it to be as linear as it is because the synopsis makes it seem like you're going to get a little bit of exposition about the situation that this main character is in, and then the majority of the story is going to be him finding this person that he met 50 years ago as a kid and is reunited with and understanding a lot of the things that happened when he was a kid that he didn't understand. The first 100 pages and more apparently as I'm on page 128 of this novel is complete expository information basically about how this main character grew up and I thought at first it was only going to go so far as when this particular person had left his town and it's not been that. It's also been talking about his love for music, how he got into the musician career as he got older and it's good, don't get me wrong. I just don't think I expected it to be as expository as it is before even getting to the real meat of the story. And I may even have to knock it down some points because of that because I think that there's a lot of information that just could have been kind of cut out, but I I don't really know. It, I'm kind of on a weird seesaw with it at this, at this moment, which is kind of making it hard for me to finish because it's not that it's not good enough for me to continue working through. I'm just really confused as to the structure of the story that I don't really know why I should continue with it, I guess. The second question is, what book have you yet to read because you ha just haven't had the time? That's pretty much all the books on my shelf, to be completely honest. Question three is, what book have you yet to read because it's a sequel? For this, I'm going to go with The Second Summer of the Sisterhood by Anne Brasheres. This is the second installment of the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series by Anne Brasheres. If you watched my videos in the summer, especially around the Buy It in Bibliothon, you would know I did not care for the first book at all. It does not age very well, in my opinion. And I think the reason I'm intimidated to read this one, in particular, as it's a sequel, is more so because I think that the first book could have ended where it was and I think I'm just a little worried as to what could possibly be involved with this story at all since I felt like the first book should have been the only book in my opinion. Question four is what book have you yet to read because it's brand new? So this is only brand new in terms of it being a 2018 release but that is Fury Born by Claire Legrand. I bought this honestly on a whim because um I had a bit of a Mm, how do I want to say it? I had a bit of a control problem when it came to buying a bunch of books. I bought a bunch of books at my local supermarket that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while, and this was one of them. And do I regret buying it? 
No, but my wallet sure does. I am a little worried though, since it is brand new because of the fact that it's a high fantasy and it's a YA high fantasy. I have not read very many high fantasies within the YA demographic per se, so I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to be any good. I've heard really good things about it though, and I'm so I'm a little less intimidated to read it, but I think it's just gonna have to come at the right time. And honestly, I would really rather just have it be a random pick for me. Most of these my books I'm totally fine with being random picks but I think the thing that's the most intimidating about my TBR is that it's just growing and growing and growing and I'm running out of space on my shelves. Question five is what book have you yet to read because you read a book by the same author and didn't enjoy it? For this I'm going to go with The Dead Zone by Stephen King and it's not because I haven't enjoyed other Stephen King books. I definitely have. I loved Desperation. I really liked Carrie when I first read it. Um, I just didn't care for Insomnia so much but the reason I'm more so to go back into this one and I say go back because I actually tried to read this I think my senior year of high school and I just could not get through it. And I think it was partially because a lot of the time I was reading it, I was very tired. And so I didn't really ever get invested with the story because my senior year was a little stressful for me. And so I think that if I get into it a little bit more recently, like if I was to get into it, say maybe about now, I might be able to get through it a little more. But also, I'm still a little worried because it is Stephen King and especially a lot of Stephen King's older books have a little bit of a harder time to get me enwrapped in them. With the exception of Desperation, I really like Desperation a lot. I'm just worried that it's not going to go well. Question six is what book have you yet to read because you're just not in the mood for it? For this I'm going to go with The Hate List by Jennifer Brown. Now I did try to read this earlier this year to be completely honest, but the time I was trying to read it, I had gone through a really traumatic experience with uh, an event that was actually publicized over all social media and all over the news. In March, I was trapped in a academic building on my campus because there was a shooter that was on campus who unfortunately had shot and killed both of his parents while under the influence. And unfortunately, it was a time where I was not okay with reading something like this. And I think that this in particular just brings me back to that memory because it was a really scary time because at the at the moment nobody really knew what was going on with that entire day and there was very little information that was being passed around about the the suspect and where he was and i was basically trapped there with very little food and no ability to move around the building without being reprimanded for it and it was just really difficult for me to move past that situation and trying to read this very shortly after that, I was not in a good headspace for it. I was still kind of reeling from the events of the shooting and trying to understand what exactly had happened. And I tried reading this again a little later in the semester after the whole thing had blown over and because I was doing actually a project that was involving this story with another story. And I was able to get through parts of it because of that, but I think that it's going to take me a little bit more time before I'm fully comfortable with reading this because it's a very, very dark story. This is a story that deals with a girl whose boyfriend shoots up their high school, killing a bunch of people that were on this list that they both created of people that either had bullied them for several years or were just people they didn't like. And unfortunately, the aftermath of the situation is that the girl goes through a lot of her high school senior year dealing with understanding why her boyfriend did this and the repercussions that came with being involved with him specifically. Question seven is what book have you yet to read because it's humongous? I think this is honestly the biggest book I have on my shelf and that's Rebels and Traitors by Lindsay Davis. This I don't really know much about it other than apparently it's an epic novel of the English Civil War. I got this at a book sale. I think it was at the library book sale that was going on in my hometown. Either that or it was the Sigma Tau Delta one that was going on last fall. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but it's a big one. It's a big, big boy. Question eight is what book have you yet to read because it was a cover by that turned out to have poor reviews? 
I honestly don't think I have bought anything that was necessarily a cover buy and then also had poor reviews. I don't think that's actually ever happened to me before. So I'm going to skip this question. And finally, the last question is what book have you yet to read because it is the most intimidating book in your TBR pile. This is going to go to none other than The Poppy War by R.F. Huang, which is a story that I think is dealing with a Chinese civil war of sorts. It's nothing, it's more fantasy based. It is a high fantasy story, but it is very intimidating because it's a part of the world I'm not very familiar with and it's high fantasy. So, and I love high fantasy, but I think that especially being in a world that I'm not super familiar with that will have a lot of references probably to different cultural things about this part of the world. It's a little more intimidating and it's also an adult novel. I don't read a lot of adult novels usually. I'm very much one to stick to YA, but despite that I still want to read this. I've heard so many good things about it in terms of it being a high fantasy and it being a really well done high fantasy with the world building and the fights and all that stuff. It's just intimidating for me because I don't really know what to expect with it. So there you guys go. Those are all the questions for the TBR tag. I will leave them down in the description for you guys if you would like to make this video yourselves or you can go ahead and leave your answers down in the, in the comments below if you choose to. And as always, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below and subscribe to become an owlette in our flock. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys.